Hi guys, welcome back to Hashtag Quirky. Now, um, this channel is kind of gravitating towards a booktube, I feel. I'm not sure. Actually, I told this in my previous videos as well that the channel is anything and everything that I get gravitated towards, that I love doing and that I am interested in. And hence, I find myself doing book videos right now because I had been in a reading slum for the longest of time, okay? And now, I'm kind of coming out of it, I'm reading a lot and I want to share everything and all the books that I read with as, as much as possible, I mean, with all of you people out there. So, yes, now this is a December TBR video. Now, what is TBR? TBR, the full form of it is to be read. Now, when I say TBR, I uh, will be discussing books that I intend to read in the December of this month. And yeah, that's that. Without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Okay, first things first, uh, these are the books. There's two in my Kindle and I have four um, hard copy. But I really wanted to say that uh, I am not like getting into a lot of ambition because I will be having my semester exams from 6th to 18th and I don't think that I'll be able to read a lot of other books in that period of time but still I wanted to start um, you know get going with the reading so I have six books in total and I'll start by this one I think this is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green if you can see I know you can and uh, honestly, I don't know what the book is about. I have heard that it's an okay book. I'm not pretty sure. But, you know, for December, you want either some fantasy magical reads or some really um, beautiful love stories to start with. So, I don't know if this is a love story or not. But I thought this would be a good... Uh, book to start with so this is the first book that I want to read in December it's not very long and the print if you can see is not also very small so I'm pretty sure that it won't take me a long time to finish this next up is everything everything by Nicola Yoon this is the book Nicola Yoon or Yon whatever you say uh, this is actually a book I know the preface of it. This is about a girl who is allergic to the world. So she has to stay in her house for like kind of her entire life. And she falls in love with a boy and it's a love story again. I do not have a particular inclination towards one genre. I kind of tend to read all and everything that I get and I pick and choose my likings from them. So it's not that I hate romantic genres or something. Or it's not that I love them. So it's not that. I just love reading in general. Because that is what has... Like I was... I, I would be very... Um, you know, frank here. Recently I had been in a very bad mental phase. 2019 hasn't been that good for me. And um, for some reason I know that... The, the, the fact that I have come out of the reading slum. And I have started reading books more has really helped me cope with this bad 2019 so i kind of read and put my hands on anything and everything that i'm getting so yeah this is the book nicola yoon's everything everything and again uh, it's actually there are a lot of this the narration is not like a direct narration there is kind of some amount of texts in between see if you can see here this page it has like a, a text exchange between two people and there's like pictures in between and see this is one chapter here so it's not a very um you know heavy book to read it's kind of very you can go with the flow i mean so this is my second pick for december third book is uh not one novel it's eight stories uh, and they're called the death under the deodas the adventures of miss uh, ripley bean by ruskin bond this is the book again now all of these stories are in the marvelous collection of thrilling new stories set in the missouri of a bygone era ruskin bond recounts the deliciously sinister cases of a murdered priest an adulterous couple a man who is born evil 
a body in the box bed not to forget the strange happenings involving arsenic in the post um strishan in the cognac a mysterious black dog and the daryang strangler now there are eight books these are mystery novels but again as i told you you see the print of the book it's very easy to read not very um long i mean the stories are short so and i kind of am you know i really i'm really craving for mysteries so i'll be reading this one this december i decided okay up next is the book that i have on my kindle it's this one i'm not pretty sure again if you can catch it or not this is the sherlock holmes collection now i have just read the first uh, the first story that is the study in scarlet but in my kindle collection i have a study in scarlet the sign of four adventures of sherlock holmes memories of sherlock holmes hound of baskervilles return of sherlock holmes the valley of fear and his last bow these are all the i think um, you know the collection of stories the four stories and some uh, short stories that are there i'm not pretty sure that my i have a hard cover of the complete collection and i'm not pretty sure that is there is something missing in here or not but for now i know that i want to at least uh, here it is i want to at least read two more of these um from the collection i know i won't be able to finish it all and honestly i don't want to because for like these kind of stories which uh, you know grow over a period of time i'm not pretty sure that i want to read all at a time or not i like taking my time for these so um i have finished the study in scarlet i think i'll go for the sign of four and the hound of baskervilles next so yeah these two are from the sherlock holmes collection the next two books are completely christmas based and i'm dying to read them and i think i'll start reading them by the end of the year when it's almost you know when we are into christmas honestly the first book is uh, alice's adventures in wonderland and through the looking glass by lewis carroll now judge me if you want to but i have not actually read uh, this book ever in my life it's weird but i haven't there's a channel uh, by haley haley's uh, bookland i think it's called and she's a huge fan of alice's adventures in wonderland and she has like a ton of covers for this but i don't know i want to invest in different kinds of covers for one book or not um i would like just to get the book and read the story but i wanted a hard copy of it so the kindle version was really cheap but still i got the hard copy and yeah i think this is really a good read for the christmas though it doesn't you know um evolve around a particular christmas theme maybe but you know it's a children's classics uh has fantasy and magical elements i hope so it's a really it's going to be a really fun read so yeah this is my second last recommendation no second last book that i want to read this december and the last book is this one a christmas carol by charles dickens this is the book and um, yeah it's in my kindle i really want to read it because i have had some really good um, opinions about it and this actually surrounds on the christmas theme as well i think so this is my last book that i want to read there's only six books together and i think if i am like in a good uh, reading spree then i will be able to finish all of these and with all that being said i finished today's video i did not want to make a huge tbr list i see people who have like booktube channels they put on 20 18 books for their tbr in a month I honestly I don't know I'm able to I will ever be able to finish so many books in a month or not but more than that I do not have time to finish so many books in a month um I have my I'm completing my master so that's one part other than that I have a few things here and there going on so it's kind of a little bit of a task for me to finish so many books and also I do not have the habit of reading like uh i finish one and then immediately i go into one and then immediately i go into one it doesn't work like that i take one or two days time in between before going into one so that's that and also i did not want to make this a uh, huge uh, kind of something like 
huge list because I know for the semesters I wouldn't be able to do so. So yeah, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you fi found it like interesting to watch me discussing books. And yeah, comment down below what more videos you would want to see. And I would gladly do them for you. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Bye.